In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the practical, real-world uses for lasers. I'm going to be doing 15 uses for lasers, and this video is mostly in response to a lot of comments that I get on my laser videos saying things like, what do you use lasers for? What is the real use besides just pointing it at the ground for your cat or just messing around with it to burn stuff? What are the real world uses for lasers? So I wanted to kind of do a nice little compilation video to kind of explain some of the real world uses that people are using lasers for today in different industries. This list is definitely not all inclusive. There's a bunch more laser uses that I was not able to include on this. I just included 15 that I thought were pretty interesting and that some of you might not have heard of. And it's in no particular order besides number one, just because number one's kind of my personal favorite. And that is laser photogrammetry, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. And it's basically a method to measure large animals underwater without having to physically take them out of the water or hold a long, say, rope or measuring device up along the side of them, hoping they hold still. This method involves mounting two lasers basically on parallel lines and it in involves a lot of precision and a lot of tweaking to make sure these lasers are on precise parallel lines so that the dots would say be maybe one foot apart from each other at all distances or at least within a couple hundred feet. You would then aim the two dots at the side of an animal, say this whale shark, and take a picture of the entire animal with the two dots on it. And you can then look at that picture and say, these two dots are a foot apart. How many of those little spacings can we fit on this one picture right here? And that'll give you a pretty accurate size of the length of the animal, a lot better than just eyeballing it. Lasers also have a big place in astronomy. The images that you're seeing right here of these yellow lasers coming out of observatories, these are sodium lasers, which are being used to create guide stars basically doing a reverse distorting of the atmosphere so they can get a clear picture of what's beyond our atmosphere. However, the process is a lot more complex than that short little summary I just gave you. Lasers are also used on the satellites that scan Mars and the topographical maps they create of Mars. Lasers are used on board those satellites and we obviously also use lasers for stargazing and for pointing out different constellations in the sky. Use number three is laser levels, and these type of construction tools will allow you to generate laser lines on walls or surfaces to create a more accurate level, get perfect 90 degree angles, and other construction purposes with absolutely perfect lines that you wouldn't otherwise be able to get. Use number four is the medical field, where lasers are used for a wide variety of things, including LASIK surgery, dentistry, they're widely used in tattoo removal. You see them used a lot in MRIs in different types of scanners, and they're also widely used in skin care. Lasers of different wavelengths have a lot of uses in the medical field. The fifth use is data transfer and communication via fiber optic cables. So the concept, I'm gonna simplify it as much as I can here. Imagine you have a cable, a wire that is hollow on the inside and all the walls on the inside are very reflective like a mirror. If you were to shoot a laser into this wire, the laser beam would just keep bouncing off the inner walls of the wire and it would come out the other side. It wouldn't just stop inside of the laser if there was a turn. It would just keep bouncing and following the wire until it came out the other side. And we are using these these laser lights to send information and communicate and that communication is now being sent at the speed of light much faster than previous ways of transferring data. Now it's obviously a lot more complex than that but that's just a very simplified version. Number six is going to be laser tag and this one's pretty simple and straightforward. I'm sure most of you have played it in the past. Just involves using lasers to shoot at targets on your enemies. Usually they'll be wearing some type of a vest with the target on the shoulders, back and chest. If you hit those little targets, the enemy will be disabled for a couple of seconds and you'll get a point or two. Use number seven is materials processing. And this is just kind of a blanket term I use for the different uses of manipulating material with lasers. This can be engraving, this can be lasers used for drilling, lasers used for cutting, items like metal. There's also lasers used for removing rust and there's also lasers used for welding. Now the lasers used for all of these uses are typically in the invisible spectrums and also very, very high powered and would burn your skin immediately. And that leads me to number eight, which is military uses. 
The military has actually for some time been working lasers into their weaponry, using laser systems to shoot down drones, shoot down planes, and shoot down missiles. And they've began mounting them on ships, on trucks, on planes. And these lasers are also very high powered and have the ability to go straight through metal. Use number nine is one of the more obvious and conventional ones that's been around for a while, and that is the use of laser diodes in disk drives to read DVDs and CDs inside of your DVD player or your Xbox or whatever it might be. Inside of any of those devices that take discs, there will be a little diode with a little laser that is being used to read that disc. Use number 10 is in the agricultural field, and it's the use of lasers as a bird repellent or deterrent. Now, farmers have been installing these type of automatic laser systems on their crops, and birds will actually view that laser beam and that laser dot as like a solid rod coming towards them or a stick coming towards them. They won't be able to identify that it's just light, and it will immediately scare them away. Use number 11 falls more under the scientific field, and this is optical tweezers. The focal point of a laser can actually be used to trap microscopic uh, little particles in the air using just the force of light to suspend them in the air. It's a pretty interesting process and I'll link several demonstration videos that people have done down below in the video description. Use number 12 is the use of lasers as gun sights. A laser can be perfectly aligned with the barrel of a weapon so that you can get a more accurate idea of where your bullet is going to land. Use number 13 is something you see in pretty much any grocery store and that is those little barcode scanners. Those actually have a laser inside of them that's producing that moving light that you see going over the barcode. So basically the barcode scanner has a illuminator in it which in this case would be the laser. It sends out the light at that barcode and then some of that light reflects off of those little black lines and it goes back into the scanner and the scanner has a sensor that then decodes it and tells the scanner what the barcode actually said. Number 14 is a laser printer and inside of these type of printers the computer board will come up with whatever the image is supposed to look like whether it be text or a picture. It'll tell the laser inside what that image is supposed to look like and the laser will trace it out onto a drum inside the printer and that will build up static electricity on the drum. The static electricity will then attract onto the page the toner and the fuser unit will bond the toner to the paper in the image that is supposed to be. And finally, number 15 is going to be the use of lasers in entertainment, such as laser light shows at concerts. And I think that some laser pointers would also fall under this category, as many people do own them for the sole purpose of entertainment. But anyways, that's going to wrap up my 15 practical real-world uses for lasers. If you guys found this interesting in any way at all, hit that like button down below. And in the video description, I'm going to try to include um, some links to explanations, better explanations of each one of these uses. If you guys have an interesting use that you wish made it to the video, let me know in the comments down below. And finally, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome laser videos just like this. And as always guys, thank you for watching.